Hello everybody! Sorry, I'm moving the camera. Maybe I shouldn't move the camera. Alright, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm here today to talk about the perfect palette tag. Uh, before I do that, I'll just show you my makeup. If you like my makeup, let me know down on the bottom and I will show you. Well, I'll, I, if you want, I can do a tutorial on how to do that. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I've got my purple lenses in. Hope you can see that. <laughs> All right, awesome. I only showed you because now I'm putting my glasses back on. Yes, I've last night I re-dyed my hair, and it's purple. Looks a lot pinker on the camera. Red, red is purple. So I got my hair done in purple. Unfortunately, it's a really gloomy day today, so I need to use the normal indoor lights rather than sunshine and all that jazz. Alright, perfect palette tag. Um, down the bottom, I'm going to write down who, uh, the ver uh, put the link of who actually started it. It was the mother-daughter team. I'll put that link there for the original one. Um, so let's start, let's not, um, let's start. Blah, I can't talk. Um, I'm just, uh, I know this is totally nothing to do with the perfect palettes tag, but I have just arrived home from a class. I'm actually doing an aged care course, um, so I can go into aged care and then I'm going to go into nursing. Yay! Okay, so perfect palette tag. Question number one. One. People can count. One. Okay, best packaging. I reckon the best packaging would have to go to Urban Decay. It doesn't matter what Urban Decay um, pack, um, what Urban Decay you buy. Um, all of them are really nice. I've got two different ones. I'll like to show you my one that I was going to use. So this is the Urban Decay that I have. It is called... I forget what it's called. I need to Google it for you. So I'll put down... Oh, hang on. Sorry. It's the Urban Decay... Deluxe um, shadow box. It has this really cool, funky, um, disco y kind of um, type front, which reminds me of the um, 80s. It's all silver, the writing's in silver, you've got writing at the back, which is silver. Then at the top, you've got a mirror, which I'll try not to blind you with. But I want to show you with a mirror, just at the top, they've got beautiful. Like, not on the side, sorry, the other side. So they've got beautiful flowers and and stuff. So they've got into really great detail, even with a uh, mirror. Mirrors are really good size as well, I reckon. Um, and then you got applicators. I hate using the sponge applicators, but it's really good that they still bought something with it. And then you've got your colours. And they all have names on them, on the actual packaging. So I really like this. I think it's very... I like the packaging. It's not too big. It's not too chunky. It's not too small. But as I was saying, all of I reckon anything Urban Decay, um, the packaging wise, like the look and presentation is really beautiful. Like I've got the Urban Decay Skater, Skater Girl, Rock. I, I can't remember the name of this one. I'll put it down the bottom. Um, but the Urban Decay. That's again another Urban Decay. Um, again, it has beautiful. It has a mirror and then it has beautiful um, flowers and decorations around it. And then again, once again, you've got... Oh! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm dropping everything on my keyboard. And then you've got the beautiful colours. And then it has the names on them, like Verve, Suspect, etc. So I reckon Urban Decay, with a high-end range stuff, has really beautiful packaging. Absolutely beautiful. I love that kind of packaging. Um, so it all depends what package, what you mean by packaging. I reckon um, by looks and display and everything, that will be really, really good. Then the other packaging that I actually like is the Chi Chi packaging as well. They're the low, low, low range ones, but I really like their packaging because... You can't, they get them different styles and stuff. Um, these are cool Chi Chi. So you've got like a metallic four quad ones, which has a humongous big mirror on the top. That's all a mirror. Um, and even the packaging is mirror-like. And then you've got your four quad 
stuff, so I like that as well. But then they also got things like this one here, which is um, a, uh, a vinyl at the back. It looks like a vinyl at the back of it, and I just like the presentation to them. Um, pretty awesome. I like the pack. And plus, you can like grab one of these and just shove it in your in your in your bag, etc. Um, then you've got the even the small the, even these ones again. Like Gigi has a lot of variety. Then you've got the little packaging like this. And once again, you got all the different colors and they're really good pigment pigmentations. And then you slide that across, and you've got a mirror down the bottom with a brush and everything like that. So yeah, so packaging low range will be Chichi. High end high range that I own will be Urban Decay. So that was question number one. Question number two is best colour payoff. The best colour payoff would have to be my sugar peel. Absolutely love my sugar peel. Unfortunately I've only got addicted to pretty palette. Um I want to get the other ones, but I haven't been able to justify them because of the colours. If they're different colours, I would definitely buy the um, the palettes. But because they don't, I do actually buy them separately. I've got separate stuff. But anyway, this is about palettes. Love my sugar peel for the high range one. Unfortunately, I've broken my mirror. <laughs> it's broken, sorry. But you got a mirror at the back, uh, at the top bit here. And then you got your colours. And I'll just show you. I'll just do the red. Just do one swipe and look how pigmented that is already. And I only just did a, just barely touched it. It's really beautiful. You can blend it out. So it doesn't have to be that dark. Like I'll show you. See, so I've still got lots of product on my finger still. And that's. So you can build it up. Or you like. You don't even have to build it up, you can just put a little bit on and that's really dark. Or you can blend it out. Up to what it's up to you what you want to do. So I think the high range pigmented pigmented ones would have to be um sugar peel. Absolutely love sugar peel. Um for the low low end range, I'll have to say Chi Chi again. I absolutely love Chi Chi. Um they're very affordable, they're cheap. Um I won't choose that one because that one's a bit dirty. And they come in different colours and stuff like these are the natural um natural ones that I have. So you got sparkles and mattes and stuff. So I'll show you. I'll grab I'll grab that top one because that, that has red on it, so I'll use this finger. Excuse my finger. So see how pigmented that is as well? So I'll put it just above. See how beautifully pigmented that is? And I only did a little swipe as well. So there's two different pigments, high pigments that I love. Um, so Chi Chi is for the cheap ones. Um, so if I was introducing like my to like a little girl to make up, I would buy the Chi Chi stuff for them. If I'm buying something for a friend or whatever, I would buy Sugar Peel or recommend Sugar Peel because of how pigmented they are. So I love both of them. Hence why I've got both. Then number three, most versatile. Well, I'll have to say most versatile would have to be um the different um what's the name? Oh, I left something behind. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll I'll actually come back in a second with that question. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to grab one of my palettes that was in the toilet because I did my makeup and I forgot to grab them with the rest of them. Um, so number three. Most versatile. I'd have to give it to two different ones, um, and uh, and you'll see why. Most versatile would have to be first of all my Inglot. Um, I've only got the two, four, six, eight, the ten pack, ten palette one. But you got twenty palette one. You've got like you got different ones you can that you can make and you custom make them your own self. Um, so it would be Inglot. Absolutely, I love their packaging for it as well. But anyway, um, this is about um versatility. So then, I reckon this is really good because you can choose whatever color you want. The colors that I've chosen, um, I I can make different looks with it. It's small. I can travel with them, etc. I absolutely love it. So, 
like I can do a high, so my white could be my highlighter. This um brown down here next to the yellow, that's actually for um, my contouring. I didn't do contouring today, but that's for my contouring. Then you've got a yellow, you got browns, you got greens, you got you know you can do like a um basic um neutral one or you can just do wow out there one so I reckon that's very versatile so anything that you can you build your own self and you can take out in and out um be really really good um the next one is there I'll to put a link down the bottom they're called iBeauty and they're actually having a sell at the moment because they're closing down or trying to sell it who whatever comes first um so they're three dollars each color but again Unfortunately, if they don't have mirrors or anything, but you can choose all the colours that you want. So see how I've got all neutrals and, and you know, I can mix them all up. So I think those, those will be the most versatile ones. Um, would be ones that you can actually take out and pull out. and So see, I can take this these colours out. They're all magnetised. And you can make your own colors, put in your own colors, choose what colors you want, etc. Put them in. Um, I think those will be, those are 100% versatile because you are making them your own self, which colors you want, etc. So they're really awesome. So just uh, versatile. Um, for the non ones that you can't um, move around or, and stuff, I think most versatile would, I'd have to put give it to the Smoky palette from Coastal Scents. And that's because it all comes with six different, well, six basic looks for um, smoky coloured eyes. So you've got your blacks and greys, you've got your blues, you've got your pinks, you've got your purples, you've got your greens and you've got your blues. Sorry, purples, greens and brown, sorry. So, and then you can just mix them all up together, etc. So for a um, versatile one. Already versatile will be the smoky one. Um, versatile where you can build your own will be Inglot and Eye Beauty. Uh, number four, best for traveling. I would have to say it's a flip between two of them. Uh, first, of, first one would be this sleek. Will be the sleek one. Uh, makeup. This is the ultraviolet one. So you've got a mirror at the top of it right here. And then you've got your colours. So um, for travelling, it's really good because of the size. Like it's just a tiny bit bigger than my hand, but that could be thrown into um, a bag, etc. And I wouldn't be too upset in this breaking um, and stuff. It's not one of my absolute favourites, but it's good that you know I've got it because it can break. So that's really good for traveling. And the other one that I love for traveling would have to be my eye beauty again. Um, and that's only because I bought that one specifically for that. So at the moment I've only got two. But from all of my, from the big palette that I have from eye beauty, I can choose whatever um, colors that I want and put them into this one. And it also has a mirror on, uh, on top of it as well. And you can put a little small brush or applicator in there. Um, etc so these two are really good as well this one's a lot hot, um, sturdy um, it can be knocked around and it won't break that easily either so um, that's what I reckon will be good for traveling um, and you know what I wouldn't be upset if this will break because I can easily just put them back into this like, beauty pal um, palette at the top and as I said because um, I can choose whatever colour. So, like, my basic two colours I would always carry with me is the blacks and whites because the white can be for um, the base of it and the black would be to make smoky and then I can just, like, add two other colours there. I could either choose to make a browns for neutral or I can put, like, a bright, two bright colours, etc. So that's what I think would be really good for travelling. I can choose any time. Biggest regret. In all honesty... I'd have to regret buying my smoky palette only because it's m well, <laughs> first reason it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be and I'll show you what I mean 
I've done one swatch and see how light that purple is. It's meant to be like that purple and it's come out that purple. Um, and I have to build it up with my eyes. Um, I need to have primer on it, etc. So I was really disappointed first with the pigmentation of them because I've heard so many people rave about it. But then again, maybe I'm just spoiled because I like sugar peel. But the other thing is how small the um, palette, the little shadows are. They're just a little bit bigger than my finger. Can you see that, guys? So if someone had actually told me that the... Like, I actually thought this was going to be a lot bigger than what it is. Like, even my Eye Beauty products, which is $3 each, ends up being a lot bigger than my Smoky palette. So if people had told me that these shadows were going to be a lot smaller than what they were, I wouldn't have bothered buying it. Um, it's I don't think it's worth the money. So that's one of my regrets. Um, so next one is number six, best color names. Well, most of them don't actually have names on them. My teachers don't have names. Smoky palette doesn't have a name. Most of them, um, Urban Decay has the name, but um, I actually have come down to the Sleek palette again. The Ultra Matte V1 730 palette. Um, it has some really nice names. Um, the only disappointing thing about, about it is they don't actually have them written them down like the Urban Decay ones. They actually have like a fluffy little clear thing with the names on it. So if I lose that... I'm in trouble with names. So um, I like it because of the colours. Like I like the name Cricket. So ah, so that green one down here is called Cricket. And I like the um, the name Bolt, which is um, next to Cricket. And I reckon that the name suited. So Cricket, Bolt, um, we've got Dragonfly, Pucker, Bami, Chill, Powie. I even like just the, the names like Powie. Um, so Sugar Light. So I like their names. They're not as fancy as other um, palettes that are out there with names. But hey, you know, I can't get all palettes all at once. Um, least used. Okay, it's my least used one. And I think it's because it's a, um, it's not lim I don't know if it's a limited edition one. But it's a collection one. And that's my um, Snow White and the Huntsman palette i actually don't want to use it because it looks so pretty i love the presentation to it and because it's the snow snow white and huntsman i feel like in a few years time you won't be able to buy it ah, there goes the diago it's by diago diago dalla palma so it's my least used i have used i've used it once i haven't used the lipstick oh, i'll show you so the lipstick hasn't been used once. It has never been used at all. Um, and excuse my hands, they may look um, dirty. Um, they may, but they're not dirty. I actually dyed my hair last night, so my hair, my hands look a bit purple. Sorry. Um, so I love the presentation. I like how it has mirror at the top. Um, but because I think it's so pretty, I don't want to use it. Does that make sense? Um, plus, on top of that, I'm not a really neutral kind of person. I'm a uh, bright coloured kind of person. So, um, I think one day I will touch this, but at the moment I don't. I don't want to touch it because uh, to me it's like a little collector. The whole reason I bought it was for a collector's thingy. Um, so just to ha have it and say, well, I did get it. You know, I have it. Look at this. I have it. Um, so that's my least used. And number eight. My most used, most loved Desert Island. In all honesty, I thought about it. I loved the, um, it was a flip between my sugar peel, um, one. But I decided not my sugar peel because unfortunately, as I said before, it only have, they only have palette of four. And I can't really do much. I can't really mix these. I always have to add other colours from other places. Um. So I can't just put yellow, like I can, but I just feel like sometimes I want other colours in. So I reckon my most loved, well it's definitely my most loved and used, is my Inglot. Like even today I'm using the dark purple and the white today from Inglot. So 
and and it's most used as well because I use my that brown one next to the yellow as I said before I use that one for con contouring and even sometimes like not today but even sometimes I use that pink at the top for my blush I'm actually using a different blush today so I think Inglot is my ultimate one it's my the one I use I pick up all the time it's the one that I left in the bathroom this morning I had to run and go get it so my absolute so if I was in a deserted island well, first of all, I would actually first pack everything that I, like, if I knew I was going to be deserted, in a deserted island, I wouldn't care about makeup. Um, I would pack things that I would need, like, matches and firewood and, and just stuff to keep, survive. This is second, like, secondary, like, I don't give two hoots about this, I'd rather survive first, before I had put my makeup on. Um, but if, you know... Uh, if I was in Desert Island and I have everything that, you know, I need and I could choose, I would definitely get my Inglot. Um, because, yeah, just because it's an awesome palette and I can choose what I want, um, put it in there. Um, I can buy, like, the bigger 20 palette or, like, I am going to buy a bigger one. Um, and I can put blushes in there as well as lip, lip products as well as blushes, contouring, foundation, anything and everything I can just shove on there, um, and put it in there. And it's very strong and i like the packaging to it too so i hope you like my tag have a good one and i'll talk to you guys later